It's so refreshing to get a DLC pack for a AAA game, albeit small, that packs as hard of a punch as Alan Wake 2's Night Springs DLC. I know I'm getting this review out a bit late compared to all of the big outlets, but I make videos between having a full-time job, so I knew I'd get it out eventually. Uh, this review, much like the DLC, will be short and sweet, as with how short these episodes are, I don't want to say or show too much, um, but I'd love to touch on each DLC briefly and share my thoughts. Uh, welcome back to the Grinkle Snatch channel, this is Austin, and without further ado, let's start with episode one, number one fan. I think this is my favorite of the three episodes that I've played. Um, in episode one, you play as Rose Marigold, who is Alan's number one fan who needs to go on a quest to save her beloved. Uh, the episode in, its, in and of itself is funny, it's quirky, and it's really dramatic for no reason, but I can't help but love it. It's fresh and it's fun and it's hard to put down once you pick it up. I cannot recommend this episode enough. Episode 2, North Star, is very close to how the original Alan Wake 2 feels in terms of gameplay and story, um, as well as the game control. Um, you play as Jesse Faden, who is, of course, also the lead character of the game Control, and you need to solve what happened to her brother. Um, the episode is dark, as in it's not very lit. It's, it's a very dark and grimy kind of uh, horror-esque uh, undertone kind of DLC. It was still a very fun ride, despite not being too different from the base game, uh, but that's mostly because of its overall wackiness. Uh, even though it does lack some of the seriousness of Alan Wake 2 itself, um, it's still solid in its own right. Episode 3, uh, Time Breaker, was the most interesting for me. You play as Tim Breaker from the Alan Wake 2 main story, who embarks on a multiversal story to find the master of many worlds. Um, I liked this episode too, as it was very unusual, um, but it had uh, probably some of the most interesting moments out of the entire DLC. Of course, you should experience them for yourself, as I won't be spoiling it here. Overall, this DLC is a must-play for any Alan Wake 2 fan or any fan of the unusual and unpredictable. It is perfectly placed on the shelf of Remedy Creations and I cannot recommend it enough. Especially after finding out it's all technically canon within the Remedy Connected Universe as multiversal stories that Alan wrote to try to escape the Dark Place, uh, similar to Alan Wake's American Nightmare. Um, but with all that being said, I hope you enjoyed my quick review um, of the Alan Wake 2 uh, Night Springs DLC, and I hope to see you in the next video. I told you it would be really quick. Bye-bye.